Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account and we had that insane game last game where I was a little bit salty but we had a really bad AD carry, we had a really bad mid laner and we had that Scion. So it was a pretty pretty stressful game but if you've not watched it I don't actually want to spoil it completely. Just watch till the end of the video, that's all I'll say. Anyway, today we're playing more Burb. I was actually going to play a Zed game, but my own Thresh banned it. I didn't hover it or anything, so it's not their fault. This game, though, is looking a bit precarious. So, but, but honestly, for both teams, autofill. <laughs> so this is a mid lane top laner, not too bad. AD carry, AD carry, AD carry, support mid, that's fine. Top lane, jungler, mid, jungle, jungle. Our bot lane is jungle. Mm. Then the weird thing is I never get this. Let me know if you guys know why people do this. These two are duo. He's an Echo one trick jungler. Why would you duo with another jungler? That makes no sense. You're a jungler. Why are you duoing with another jungler? I don't know. Almighty, thank you so much for the gifted sub. First ever gifted sub in the channel. Appreciate it. And someone in the chat just said, uh, Huz has a main champion right now. We, we, we live in weird times. I told you I was taking this year more seriously. I have had comments already going, play more champions and stuff. I'm going to be honest with everybody. You'll get more champions in the Smurf series. I actually want to get back to Master, or at least Diamond 1. That's where I feel like I can belong in the game if I'm playing well and I'm playing consistent. And to be consistent, I need to have a champion pool. This is what I've always said. Hey, Real Honest. So I'm having a champion pool on the Huzzy account. That's the point. If you guys want me to get Master again, or, you know, at least Diamond 1 odd plus, accept that. Like, it's nearly impossible to get to Master on EU West, which is one of the hardest servers, doing commentaries all the time. God damn it, you pleb. Anichigo, the 3000 Anichiko donation. And stop it. Again, don't do things like that, Anichiko. Again, please, for whatever you guys do, Anichiko just, like, said he got paid, and now he's done, he did 6,000 biddies. And now he says he's poor again. Well, don't do Biddy's donations to me. Please look after yourself. Please. Genuinely. From the bottom of my heart, I th can't thank you guys for enough of the support. But please don't put yourself out of any situation yourself, okay? Please. It makes me feel bad. Buy, buy yourself something. Oh, for God's sake. Die! Uh, Celestial Story with seven gifty subbies. Thank you much, Celestial. Again, you plebs. A thousand lives will I give Huzzy smug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, maybe, again, people have already said, like, why do people duo if they play the same role? Again, if they're just friends and they want a duo. That's probably the, the answer, you know. As simple as it may be. Oh, he actually got... Oh, Echo's just entered. Oh, I'm already getting ganked. Okay, well, I got first blood, which is great. I, well, it's technically not worth, but it kind of sets the tone that I'm going to wreck this Akali. Donk. Shame Echo couldn't got there quick. And yeah, Lethal Tempo got me killed. No, Conqueror. Wait, what? He doesn't have lethal... Dude, his attack speed got really fast, no? Felt like his attack speed got really fast, and that's why I thought he had lethal tempo, but apparently not. Do it. The cycle closes. Oh, E gives you attack speed on Zin. Oh, okay. Honestly, I've not really played much Zin. I know obviously what the champion does, and that's the point. I like I know fundamentally what all the champions do. But like little details of like, oh, that ability actually gives you attack speed as well. Like those are like little things I might miss knowledge on a little bit. We 
Kept Akali's farm under 10. No. It's cannon. You're not having it. No. Damn it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Also, uh, we're actually going to get a world rank on Anivia after this game. You have to have 10 games of a champion to get world ranked. So this is my 10th game of Anivia. So I'll actually find out after this game what my world rank is going to be. Which is going to be cool. It's not going to be like really high rating because again, if you want really high rank, high world rank, then you have to play more than ten games, obviously. Kind of expecting to get ganked again. We're playing so aggressive. Nah, like, I'll be top a thousand, I reckon. I don't think I'm going to be lower thousands yet. Because, again, amount of games. That was a... Oh, I'm dead. Dude, I'm just getting camped by the jungler. Woo! Again, this is the problem when you're rucking face in the 1v1. The Akali's probably crying in chat, so the Zin's coming mid lane a lot. Even though it feels like it absolutely wrecked this Akali, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, Anivia's lane damage is insane for what is a late game champion. It makes no sense. What's my win rate on Anivia? It's like 80%. <clears throat> Kale just needs to focus on scaling and then she'll take over. Take time to our late game is insane as our comp, to be honest. I did ping them that, didn't I? Don't know if it makes any difference. I'm on my way. Little bit of jungle diff this game for sure. An ally has been and maybe top lane. Fuck you. They're gonna do dragon. Funny thing is, right now, even though we've absolutely wrecked face as Akali, I bet she could basically just turn and one shot me. I have felt this hey Daniello. Do it. Thresh took the kill! Oh, <laughs> Ooh, good. That dodge was insane. <laughs> good luck, Celestial. Thank you again for the seven. That's insane. Thank you. The, the fact that we're nearly at 1250 subs right now and it's just January, I don't understand. Again, I've said before, but January is historically the worst month financially for content creators, and that's something for years that you just accept. Uh, it's the month after Christmas. All the advertisers have used their ad revenue, so it's like, well, they've got no money for that. And usually people have obviously just had Christmas, so they don't want to spend a lot of money, which is completely understandable. And then my plebs in my Twitch stream are just like, no huzz, smiley face. Oh, not 1250, 1750. Jesus Christ. <coughs> it's crazy. I don't understand. Yeah, no, don't, please. Again, if you guys have got bills and stuff, and oh, don't. You guys are plebs. Dude, I played that really well. Oh, I played that well. Why did you ult? He didn't need to ult. This Kale is uh, not doing well.
Go away. <laughs> this thing is angry at me, dude. Uh, outplayed. And that was a little bit of a bait. A little bit of cheeky bait. I'm a bully. Listen, he's camped me this game. I can have a bit of fun. We're playing great, Puggles. How's bot lane doing? Not great. Top lane's doing garbage, but it's a Kale, so she can outscale. And bot lane scales too. Me and Echo are doing good though. Do it. I dare you. Alright, where's your Zin? Come on. I know he's around here somewhere. Is he in here? Oh, he's not. When the dog bites. Oh, that was so close. I don't actually know if my wall would have stopped her E. I presume it doesn't actually. So if Cyan ults, I can just wall, right? In theory. Uh, Kale going AD AP. I'm guessing AD because she's got lethal tempo. She wants a gank by Zin. Or not. Because Kale is... Blah. I wouldn't guess she'd be losing to a Scion, if I'm completely honest. Bonk. A Carly. If I wasn't a Nivea, I'm dead. After she's zero three and she doesn't have any really item at all, she can still basically one shot you. Good enough. Right, let's go back. Oh, don't you go at lethal teleport AP? I don't know, maybe. I probably wouldn't, but I'd go PTA to give you a better lane phase. Oh, good hook! Nice, dude. Nice. Nice W! Whoa. Dude, Echo just literally pressed E and followed a flash. What? What? Uh oh. Someone was watching bot lane. <laughs> Guarantee she was just watching what was going on in bot. <laughs> oh, good. Um, oh, I mean, we've all done it, you know. I've done it. You've done it. She just did it. Isn't Sion dead? Dude, shut down. Let's go. Kale is scaling. Kale is scaling. <laughs> oh! Don't die! Full health! Oh. Oh. 
This Zin has got a bit of an odd playstyle. It's kind of inty, but like, because he's playing Zin, it's rather forgiving. Because he's got obviously the ult and then the amount of healing with Gore. <clears throat> so, even if he makes quite a bad mistake, again, quite forgiving. Like that. Gets caught out, but he's got that ultimate, so it's really forgiving. That actually might give us the dragon, though. She might be dead. Yep, the dot. Sick! Ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> I died. <laughs> okay. I didn't even know Sion was coming. I could have walled him off if I played it better. I'm going to be honest. That was not great, but I just didn't expect the Sion. My bad. I also got comboed. Which is fine. Pretty sure we win this game free when we just scale. I'll buy a demonic this game, and then we can kill Sion quite easily as well. Why is there a screen glitter? I actually don't know. Hmm. What is this Kale doing, man? Stop inting. And now she's trying to surrender vote. Just play better. Stop baby rage and play better. It's from the Cosmic Lux kill. Oh, right. Tower's legit on full health. We've already had an AFK today, by the way, for the YouTube audience. So another troll. It was a Master Yi, so again, maybe not too surprising, but Master Yi played awfully. And then he uh, decided to AFK. And then the really weird thing that I have passed on to Riot is we got that, like, surrender vote early. It's like the game detected, you have an AFK. So, you know, you can surrender if you'd like. And I was like, yeah, let's surrender. We've got an AFK. Because that system is in place. Zero five Akali. Here we go. Because that system is in place, um, in theory, um, we lose less LP, which is always nice. But then, right, the vote is happening. The surrender vote is happening. And because the Master Yi, I guess, doesn't want to get punished, what does the Master Yi do? While this early surrender vote is happening because we've got an AFK, he stops being AFK, and then we don't actually get the less LP reduction because he's come back to the game. During the surrender vote, literally the AFK surrender vote because the Yi's gone AFK is happening, and he comes back, and it's like, what? It's like, we should definitely be getting the... Uh, the less LP reduction. Like he, he, the reason why the vote started because he wasn't there. Oh, that was a bad hook. No, my team did well. And that was without me, and I'm quite strong. So I think Echo is just kind of pogging off, which is good. <clears throat> that vote's been there a while. It's like an early FF15 vote, but... The game, if it detects someone's AFK, will say, hey, you have an AFK. If you surrender now, you'll, like, get less LP loss, which is always nice. Again, it's not much. You'll lose, like, three less LP or something like that. But, you know, why not? We've got an AFK. You went skydive skydiving today for the first time. This guy strapped himself to me, and we jumped out of the plane, and we plummeted to Earth. He said, so how long have you been an instructor? A thousand lives will I nice. Nice. <laughs> That's one of those, like, ah. I want to go skydiving. I want to go skydiving. I want to do the shark tank thing. Hell, I even want to do the... There's crocodile tanks now. Honestly, the crocodile tank seems a bit more precarious than the, um, the shark one.
Wait, they're focusing a Thresh. Oh, the Thresh! Kale! What? Dude, you get all! Bro. Oh, you tanky boy. Whoa, he's not dying. Don't worry, guys, we have a split pushing Jinx. And that Scion genuinely isn't dying. I need Demonic. Smiley face. I have no idea why we have a split pushing Jinx. That's kind of trolling. But also, what's kind of trolling as well, it was that Kale. That Kale could have ulted the Thresh to save him a bit longer. And that would have been a better play. Yeah, it's Force of Nature. Riot overbuffed Force of Nature. I think they even said that they overbuffed it on purpose because no one was using it. So they've overbuffed it on purpose to make people aware of the item. They'll probably nerf it because it's really overpowered right now. Because that's Riot's amazing delight design philosophy. Let's just make everything overpowered. Good job, Rito. You is good designers. Yup, 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 yup. Let's -a go. God, we're so weak. I don't know how we're so weak, but we're really weak. Scion will not die. <laughs> what on earth? What in the overpowered? See this, why did we have this Scion last game? This would have been a better Scion to have. Oh my god. He's literally winning the game by himself. Because we can't actually kill him. Like, that has to be a bug. Like, surely there's a bug going on. Because that's just ridiculous. You can't be that tanky. Oh, bad wall. We just gotta, like, really scale, man. Ooh, bad. That's good for us. Hey, I'm tired. How's it going, buddy? Five months tier one. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We can definitely win the game, but, like, what a weird match. I just need... Well, I would like to get my demonic, but I don't think I can base right now. We've got a bit of momentum. Can we check this is warded? Dude, we could have done Baron by now. I will be reborn. That's the annoying thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's already flashed. Kill him! Uh oh. Ow. Of course Akali was just chilling in the bush the whole time doing stupid Akali things. <sighs> Take it. Well, that sucked. Honestly, the Lux is doing a lot of work. It's the Lux and the Scion. Maybe if Kale didn't feed the Scion early. Which, again, I don't really know how she did that. But, oh well. Oh, will we get another Baron Steel like last game? I don't know how we get a Baron Steel. What? Thresh is ending? Yep. Thresh is ending. Cool. What do I think of Yorick? I actually think Yorick's quite good. Oh yeah, gates. Ooh, what? I can't move from my own wall. Oh god. 
Was? Dude, I got a really good wall off. Oh, get me out of this match. Get me out of this match. Next game, please. We do scale really well, but I'm just mentally just done with this game. I'd rather just get into the next one and win that one. Because, like, the enemy, enemy team's just buying MR, and it doesn't matter because our Jinx is doing nothing. Which is kind of weird. Also, what? Demonic second Akali. Interesting. <coughs> this game is becoming a little bit boring. Silent's not there, we can win. He's legit the main problem. God, our team is just AFK. Wait, like, Scion, the, the problem that we've got is not there. Why don't we take the 4v4? That makes no sense. And now they're all going to spend about 5 minutes trying to kill the Scion. I tried, man. I got the AD carry, but there's three people bot. <clears throat> they killed Sion! Hey, Java Zava, how's it going, buddy? 34 months tier 3 sub. Thank you so much, dude. Damn, <laughs> Jinx is so bad. What is with bad AD carries, man? It's crazy. Ah! Blaze? What? How did that hit? It was through minions. Why are they all just dying, though? God, this bot lane. Let int. They want to int and lose the game. I don't know. See what actually happens, by the way, when a Scion plays properly and doesn't buy Hullbreaker? Look how strong that champion is. Literally has turned around a game by himself because he's that tanky. He gets involved, doesn't split push. Literally turns around a whole game. That is how you play Scion. Wait, why has she got Dirk? Bro. What? That's not... Okay. I'm guessing she's not an AD. Oh, yeah, wasn't it a jungler? The Jinx is a jungler? Yeah, the Jinx is a jungler that's never played jungle. Oh, sorry, AD carry. Dude, you should know the basics to build. Hell, even, like, this would probably give you the right item in recommended. Crazy. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> he doesn't die! Kill the beast. Kill the beast. That's insane. <laughs> Bro. I've got no mana. Crazy. That was nuts. What 
This game is legit how to play Scion. Dude, my kill, come on. <laughs> Echo's taking like every kill. Ooh, Kale's level 16, that might make a difference. Is Scion a bad tank? No, like, dude, look at this game. This Scion tank has turned around the whole game. I do think there's better tanks than Scion, but this just shows how much better tank Scion is than AP, uh, AD. AD's garbage. Hell, hey, don't even buy a hole breaker. It's pointless. Just do this. You literally can't die. Your whole team that's behind just gets so much free time when he just stands in front and is like, well, you can't kill me. Bring it. Building the completely wrong build. This, this Jinxster doesn't know what to do. Well, see, I'm kind of fine with giving them Baron. They're doing it. Kind of okay with that though. I think we can wait out a Baron. The Jinx is just building like basically as wrong as you can in this moment. That's how she's building. Dominix would actually give her damage. But that's not what she wants to buy. And again, you can excuse maybe someone that's auto-filled, not knowing the right build, but then when people are pinging you, like, yo, that build, and then she's still building wrong. Yeah. It's a bit of a bigger issue then. Good thing is I have insane wave clear. That's not good. Ooh. I'm just gonna hover in the middle so I can go to either fight. Got her. Dude, I'm playing so well, let's go! Again, I'm not getting these kills, but I'm getting these really good picks. Which is a good thing. Hold up. Dude, I'm legit playing so well. If I do say so myself, like that's the negative, I guess, of this build. He doesn't do a lot of damage. He's just the biggest distraction you can probably have in the game. Which is a good thing, obviously. That's what's got them back in this game. Because the Akali's really bad. We've noticed that she's been bad pretty much this whole game. But... We'll see. Because, like, the Lux is probably their actual AP carry. If the Akali does anything, like... Good. It's like a surprise, but it's like a good surprise for the enemy team. Right, I honestly think a death cap is my next item. It's either void or death cap. Void, magic pen maybe. But then the raw A again the math behind it. Do you get more raw actual damage from just buying a death cap? Because like people might go, you need to kill the scion, but the weird thing is you kinda don't. I have to just kill his carries and then he can't, he doesn't have damage. So like if I kill his carries by just one-shotting them or whatever with pure raw damage, that might be actually better. That's the thing I've got to decide. 
no Riley for the slow. I'm on a Nivea. I'm thinking maybe Void though, because like not just Sion has got MR, Zin has MR. Um, so if we catch one of them, it's a good thing. Kind of feels like the enemy team doesn't exactly know what to do at the moment, which is good. And it's honestly just giving us time to scale. They need to end this game. I absolutely smurf this fight. Oh my god, I'm smurfing. Oh my god. I carried the hell out of that fight. Stop the Scion. Stun the Zin instantly. Stop the Akali. Like, dude. What more can I do? Nothing. There's no more. I'm playing very good. Direct, bro. <sighs> I will say, thank God, there's a Kali's not very good. Because if they actually had a scary Akali with this Scion, that that would have been a problem. That would have been a problem. This is also going to help us, by the way, because what does this dry this um, soul give? True damage. I'm just timing my wall for this Scion now. I'm like, right, I'm countering you. <laughs> I've just chosen death for this Scion. <laughs> Let's go. That's how it's done. Yeah, the electrocute damage, true damage, which again, that Scion is not going to like. Kind of defeats the point of him being crazy tanky when we just all do a bit of true damage. Oh, by Void straight away. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, actually, could it have been Shadow, whatever the hell? He shields. He has a shield of Sterex. Lux shields everybody. Honestly, it might have been better to go Shadow Flame. Mm. Maybe. How much does this give? 45% magic pen. Actually, no. 45% is insane. Yeah, okay, never mind. 45% is insane. I did not Wait, it's 45%? Is that right? 45% magic penetration. That sounds really high. No, maybe. Ah, uh, Carly's a bit the desperate. Dude, we have hard countered this Scion. Get wrecked. We win! Let's go, dude. Woo! What a crazy game of League. We did so well in late game. Oh my god.
But that's the thing, dude. Tank Scion, if he had a competent team, he just had a really bad Akali and a not great AD carry. So I actually would say, I feel sorry for this Scion. I do. Because he carried the butts of his team. And that is the first Scion that I have seen in quite a while that I'm like, dude, that was good. And that just shows the power of Tank Scion, not this split pushing stupid Scion. That is how you're supposed to play Scion. He did great. All right, damn, man. Um, Echo. I think Echo played the best. Maybe the Thresh, but there we go. Jesus. All right, we did really well. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I'm getting honoured. Uh, I'm not surprised that I've got the honours from my teammates because legit, we hard carried that game. <laughs> so we went uh, 9, 7, 13, plus 20 damage-wise. Not dealing even the most damage, but we just did the most for our team to enable us to win the game. And honestly, what it took, because we were losing that game for a long time, it just took to counter the Scion. Use every single wall on him. Focus my stuns on him. And that is where a lot of people in, you know, in solo queue in general will be like, dude, you're focusing the tank. That's a bad thing. Not necessarily. Like, these two were the carries and they were performing really badly. The only reason that they got back into the game was because of the Scion. So deal with the Scion and then the rest will kind of fall into place. That's what happened. So yeah, we did, did good. Um, damage taken. Yeah, so he took 62,000. Zin actually taking a lot too, but obviously he's got his ulti. But yeah, like that game was nuts. Absolutely nuts. What's Leandri's damage? I don't know if I actually can check it, can I? No, I don't think I can check it after the fact. Maybe I can somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it. Oh, do you want to see damage mitigated? Yeah, because obviously Cyan actually had stats. So... Oh my, whoa! Holy Jesus Christ. Scion mitigated 160,000 damage. So even though on damage taken, Scion's only a little bit ahead of the Zin, 2,000 ahead, because of how tanky the Scion is, he mitigated 160,000 damage. What that means, if you're like, what the hell does that mean? Because of how much, how tanky he was, his armor, his magic resist, if he had no magic resist or armor and he just took all the damage, he would have taken 160,000 plus 62,000. He would have actually taken 222,000 damage. He only didn't take an extra 160,000 damage because of his tank stats. And yes, that does get subtracted by your damage dealt because we're not actually doing the damage to him. That's the point. Wow, that is mental. And also, let's look at one thing very quickly before we actually finish this video. Because again, that was such a crazy game. I want to go in here and see overview. There you go. So that is this game. So the uh, uh, we're red team, by the way. So we get a little bit of an early lead. Then this is, I think, when Kale started to feed quite badly. Enemy team gets ahead. We then make a small comeback. What did? Why did we make a comeback? Kale got a double kill. Echo got a kill. Good job. Then we muck up somehow. Dragon steal though by Echo, I think. I don't know. But then they get ahead by 5,000, nearly 6,000 gold. But then slowly, when we start to group and I start to counter the Scion, blah, blah, blah. Boom. We're starting to get a big shift. And then we finish the game with a 8,000, nearly 9,000 gold lead. Oh, that was nuts. Wow. I've got adrenaline from that game. Again, it's absolutely mad. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it, throw a comment, and this is probably the best example I can give you of Scion, of that's how you're supposed to play Scion. Again, just to make the point clear, if that Scion had a competent Akali and Caitlyn on his team, he won them that game. The problem is, Scion himself as tank can't fully carry, but he gave his, he gave his team the potential to, and they just couldn't, or they didn't. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Can I actually check my world rank on Anivia? Do I have it straight away? Oh yeah, I got it. I am rank 846 EU West on Anivia. And unfortunately not top 1000 in the world at the moment, but I am rank 2930 of Anivia. So I do have to play a bit more on Anivia if I want to bring that ranking down. It would probably come down quite fast the more I play the champion. But obviously again, I'm never going to like one trick or like massively main anything. Um, but that's not bad. But anyway, that's going to be it. And yeah, it's literally because I've only got 10 games. Like, 10 games is not a lot to go off. But that's the minimum amount of games you need to have a world rank on a champion. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like in it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark.
stop regime I know how to unleash eternal